Alrighty guys, welcome to your 19th video, and in this video, we're going to get Bucky moving around his world. But before we begin that, I want to mention something that you guys might have been confused about before, and I probably should have mentioned it. See, whenever we play this game right here, remember that I said that Bucky is now, as you can see, positioned in the dead center of the screen, which basically means we drew him at coordinates 320, 160. However, even though he's at coordinates 320, 160, the coordinates up here that say Bucky's X and Bucky's Y are both set to 0, 0. Well, why is that if they should be 320 and 160 or whatever I said? Well, this is because whenever we play this game and move Bucky around, the Bucky character isn't going to move himself. The map in the background is actually going to be moving, and it's going to make it appear like Bucky is walking. So that is why, you know, we're not tracking Bucky's coordinates on the screen, because if we were to do that, they would just stay the same the whole entire time. They would just be 320 and 160 and not change at all. What we want to do is track Bucky's coordinates relative to where he's starting, or basically track the map's coordinates, and that would allow us to, you know, do things like, um take care of collision detection and crap like that. So that's what we're going to be doing in uh, this tutorial. Well, actually, we'll probably do collision detection in two tutorials. For now, let's just go ahead and worry about getting Bucky moving. So go ahead and hop over to the update method. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to allow Bucky to move whenever we hit up, down, left, and right on the keyboard. So the first thing we need for keyboard input is the input class, if I can type it an input object name input and set this equal to GC get input. So now all of the input information from the mouse and the keyboard is stored in this variable input right there. So what we want to do is pretty much say this. During the game, if the user hits the up arrow, move Bucky up. So we need an if statement to determine when they are hitting the up arrow. So input is key down and basically what key are you listening for input and the code for this is key underscore up so whenever they hit the up arrow this code is going to run so what code do we want to do well the first thing we want to do is right now check it out Bucky is facing down or towards us whenever he moves up we want it to look like Bucky is moving away from us, so we change it to Bucky's back. So basically, we already created all the animations for this. It's really easy. Set Bucky, the animation of Bucky, which is the character, equal to moving up. And this will make it appear that he's moving up. So go ahead and play this game right now and check it out. Whenever I hit up, Bucky looks like he's about to move up but the map or the character isn't actually moving so that's what we need to take care of right now so um this is how you do that I might as well just go ahead and explain it so whenever he's moving up what we need to do is we need to change his Y position so Bucky's Y or what was the variable I forgot it already Bucky's position Y just go ahead and copy that Bucky's position Y, of course, we want to add to this because he's moving up. So plus equals plus equals delta. And remember, this is the um, value that gets passed in to the update method. And I haven't worked with this before. And you guys are probably like, why the heck do you have this delta? Well, it's for uh, you know things like this, as you guys are going to see. Um, times 0.1f. So this is pretty much saying, OK. As a really simple explanation, pretty much increase the Y position of Bucky. So whenever we increase the Y position of Bucky, now this is going to actually do the moving. What this does right here is basically just change Bucky's picture. So instead of the front, it's his back. And this actually makes things move around on the screen. So now if we go ahead and run the game, play now, and we hit up, check it out. Bucky can now go up. But as you can see, we have a couple problems here. First of all, he can't go down, left, or right. And also, if you guys can see, he can only go up and, you know, he isn't supposed to be allowed to walk off his map. So what we need to do is whenever we run our game, 
we need to go ahead and add some collision detection so whenever he gets to the edge he can't just keep going off the edge like this and he actually can recognize to say hey dude I'm not supposed to keep going so I guess I might as well go ahead and show you guys how to do collision detection right now well should I yeah I might as well alright so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and this is why I said that we need to get the coordinates actually you know what I think I'm gonna wait and do collision detection in the next tutorial because it's gonna take a little while for me to explain and I wanna set aside a whole tutorial for it so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then